Hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Kaya Sport TV and this week you really have to hold on to your hats because we have an amazing show lined up for you. Now right here in our studios we have the EPSA Premiership Champions Kaya Chiefs. So Levan here then got a little roar out of the lines and of course we go out to the streets to find out one or two things from you guys. First up, we have the EPSA Premiership Champions Kaiser Chiefs and of course Jessica Mutaung as well as George Marilega paid us a visit along with their supporters. Georgia, how do you feel here? You've got Pirates fans that are, you know, basically saying well done to Amakosi after a season that was unbelievable. You started like a house on fire. Uh, how do you feel? First of all, it takes a man to actually admit that he was wrong. Uh, from the go, so... Yeah, I'll give him that. But uh, yeah, like you said, the season went well. And uh, um, I'm happy, you know, we're champions today. And uh, it wasn't very easy. You know, it's not very easy out there. But, uh, you know, we managed to, to pull through with the guys. And for you personally, I mean, you really kind of broke into the starting team, it seems like, at the right time. You know, around about the time then when Kazuchis were because she's on their way to being champions, you know, when you actually started becoming a regular. Uh, what, do you, what do you attribute that to, you know, you actually being in the, in the starting lineup all the time and breaking through to the team? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of hard work, uh, obviously, um, dedication. And uh, I guess the coach, you know, saw something in me, a different ball player. And uh, he th obviously he thought maybe I could bring something different to, to, to the Chiefs setup, especially the way that we were playing at the time. Um, yeah, it was a different element, all in all. But uh, he took a gamble, like he said, and uh, you know, in the end, it worked out perfectly. So great stuff. But of course, this evening is not just about us. It's about you guys as well, asking your questions, what you want to find out from the champions, from Kaiser Chiefs. And I'm glad to announce that, uh, the, I, I don't know if I should call you the first lady of Kaiser Chiefs, the first daughter of Kaiser Chiefs. The head honcho in charge the of marketing. The head honcho in charge of Kaiser Chiefs has just walked in. Uh, that is, of course, Jessica Motaung. And Musiburi's got the roving mic yeah. and he's going to be chatting to you guys. And we're also going to ha be having a chat to Jessica Motaung. So Musiburi, fire away. King, uh, ask away. You've got uh, George in front of you and, uh, and Jessica. But let's start with George first. Mine is not going to be a question. I'll actually make a comment. First of all, thank you very much for being here. I'm a number one Kosi fan for sure. These guys know. I just want to say, you know... At the beginning of the season, Musibudu will remember, I told him, we shall not lose more than three games. I told him, I said, I guarantee you, I even said, if we lose games, it's going to be to a team that's not really on top, you know, <laughs> these funny teams, because we always struggle now and then against those teams. So guys, congratulations, well done, you made us proud, we've silenced a lot of people, you see, he's lost weight. <laughs> I remember, I told you, I've got registration forms in the car, I'll give you a free t-shirt I bought with my own money, bro. Join the team of champions. Well done. Thank you so much. Now, as, we, as Sutu mentioned, uh, Jessica Mtaung is joining us. And the reason why we invited you today, Jessica, is to show the power of the Amakosi fans. You've just see, seen King Peter, uh, Tsepang, and all these other fans who donated money for this Ama Thousand Challenge. The Dream Bag is right there. And Silas uh, from the Dream Fields, uh, Dream Fields Project, Silas Mashawa, is with us tonight. Um, I mean, what does it mean for you as someone who's always encouraging people to come to the stadium and follow the team? And you see followers going the extra mile, not only following the team, but uh, doing something to plow back into football development. Well, thank you very much, guys. Glad to be here, Sutu Musibudi. Um, I think it's wonderful to be on Kaya. First of all, you know, I'm, I'm good friends with Mo, and he always boasts he's the number one supporter. So now I know the truth. <laughs> Okay, King Peter. So, uh, thank you so much. I think for me, it's, it's great to see our supporters really living the spirit of love and peace and really what Chiefs is about, you know, giving back to our supporters, giving back to the community and to see it live and happening here uh, is really, really encouraging. Yes, it is about the game, but at the end of the day, we're part of a bigger community. We're part of the bigger family. And for us to give who, to those who are less fortunate and to empower communities is incredible, you know. So, I'm, I'm just really inspired as well. We talk about inspiring greatness. It's wonderful to see our supporters actually living it and making it a reality. So I say keep it up. You know, you're an ambassadors and we want to make sure that the, the Kaiser Chiefs brand lives through all of us. So I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. Well done. Well, it was a fantastic evening filled with fantastic people, fantastic food and an amazing interview. Now then, Sunday Van Heerden, as I said before, caught up with the Lions. They've had a superb season in Super Rugby. Here's what they had to say ahead of their next match.
Ever since the Lions earned promotion back into Super Rugby in 2014, they have looked a different side. Last year was also their best season, winning seven games as a standalone franchise. The men from Joburg have already equaled that record and could earn qualification into the playoffs and possibly even win the South African Conference. But coach Johan Ackerman is not getting carried away and warns that the tournament will only get tougher. Um, we're playing top quality sides now in the latter part of the competition. I mean, uh, if the Cheetahs can beat any side, but apart from them, I think all the sides starting with last week were top six. <coughs> You know, teams that lie in the top six. So therefore we said let's stay week by week. The Lions were considered the whipping boys of the competition for many years, but Captain Warren Whiteley says they truly believe they are capable of beating and being the best. Um, we've set standards for ourselves, so there's always going to be expectation. Um, but I think the most important thing is, is looking within our group. You know, so sticking to our processes and what we want to do and and at the end of the day, that's, that's where we look and that's where we analyse. We analyse ourselves and try to better our performances and that's where we look at. The men in red and white have three matches remaining. They play the Cheetahs and Stormers away with a home game against the Waratahs sandwich in between. Sunday van Heerden, KFM Sport. Well, good luck to the Lions. I know a lot of Joe Burgers are rooting for them. Now then, Daniel Don is the new mayor of Port Elizabeth and Portia Modise has retired from Banyana Banyana. So we went out to the streets to find out from you guys what you think of both issues. I think it's, I think it's a very good appointment. I think the, per, the person who they've, who they've chosen is going to do a great job. We saw in 2010, he, 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 you know, he took South Africa's reputation, he, he held it high. Uh, 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 I think we can only ex uh, expect good things from him coming coming out of PE. But Baba Ambakas Kenanda, Ba Khale Nevalu, but Ba NC. First of all, yeah. I'm sure Nunal Bat Baba Tang we can only position him. Yeah. So from here, now I jump from Kosafa or Mopolong to politics. I can understand. But uh, as much as I can, I can feel it. Hand like that. I will feel it. Hand. You think Tamele will lose a focus maybe from Obvious. football? Obvious, we don't okay. focus. And then uh, the very same week uh, we had Posha Mudise mm -hmm. retire from international football, in fact professional football. Yeah. Do you think uh, it was very premature? I think so, yes. And what makes you say? Because Sansa Nanali uh, Mount Waka, she can play a season or two or even three. So you don't think uh, beyond Posha Mudise will have another rising star? Uh, it will take a decade for that to happen. Okay, and with her moving on to be uh, planning to become a coach, uh, do you think? Like she I said, she's still young for for retiring, and you know, to where she's headed now as being a coach and whatnot. Okay, she's still very young. She had a season or two in her, and uh, I think yeah, that's it. Well, I was certainly one of those people that was super emotional upon hearing that Portia Modise will be retiring from Banyana Banyana. She has been a fantastic servant and she will be sorely missed. But fortunately, we will still see her in her coaching capacity. But that's it for the show. And of course, we see you next week, same time, same place.